freezing cold. My beard's got frost in it today, gang. But something a bit different. We've come to Messingham Sands Fishery just outside Scunthorpe. It's frozen solid, and we're going to show you how to break the ice safely, effectively, and hopefully give you a few tips and tricks to catch fish in these absolutely arctic conditions. And I've called in help of Messingham's venue expert as well. Boys, you ready to smash some ice? It's breaking time. It's breaking time. Top tip for you, you don't ever want to lose the end of your breaker. So I always tie a little loop in the end. Yeah. Do a lasso knot by pulling it through and just lasso it round something like there, I've got the leg of that platform. Yeah, like it. That way, don't do it to your seat box or your leg because you will go in or your box will go in. Be seeing you. The other thing, make sure all the ropes are not knotted and tangled up. Yeah. I always have all the rope in front of me just for a safety point of view. Yeah, yeah, like not behind if, you. If I'm stood here, I can easily get on it or it loops around my leg or whatever. So, safety wise, few little things stand back, rope nice and untangled, wrap it round something there. The other thing, always take your clothes off. Yeah, it's a big thing, that. You don't want to be all um, Gore-Tex door and no, have all no. your windstoppers on when you're going to break because you sweat, and then afterwards you get freezing cold. Mm. So I just, I just have a thin fleece, good pair of gloves. Got these yeah. off speedy yesterday. I like them. Smell a bit funny. Mm. <laughs> and then just take it steady. The main thing Let me is... go back here. Yeah. When you're breaking ice, you don't want to throw your icebreaker in loads and loads of times no. i think four times maximum yeah so i'm going to try and cut a channel out what do you try and do go as far as you possibly can and then work back 13 meters is going to be more than enough today isn't it yeah um i'm going to saw one channel that side if i can yeah one that side and then throw it straight down the middle and break it up into sheets that's the plan okay. we go have for a, it have a crack literally here we go Good shot, sir. Yeah. Great shot. So now, hopefully, you'll be able to see how that... Yeah, the chain. Hang on. You see it there? Like sawing it, look. Keep it nice and low. Yeah. See it sawing it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's thicker than I thought. Good thickness, that is. Yeah, good thickness. That icebreaker is about, you can see why you need a pretty heavy one to pull your rope back through. Yeah. You can see why you need gloves because of the rope and sore I bet it's. I bet the water's on your hands, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So I've got that channel that side, now I yeah. want this one to go that way a bit. Do you ever do two or anything? I always see some people like with one that way and one that way. So if you wanted two, you could. I just like one nice clean hole right okay so i just a nice swing momentum's yeah the momentum's thing. the key yeah. then you just let go of it don't you yeah bye bye that's very accurate matt yeah yeah i like it so now this time i'm gonna throw it back this way yeah so you're creating a rectangle aren't you a little channel oh, yeah. you could do it in a different you could do a love art if you want yeah. <laughs> So you got my hands freezing holding this phone. I'm going to try holding a wet icebreaker. Oh. So yeah, he's keeping nice and low, folks. And look at that. Lovely channel. Uh-oh. Bit thicker that side, isn't it? it is. If I come through this smack down the middle now, thanks. Yeah. It should smash into five or six big pieces we can then clear it i like it so you've only really thrown it in twice haven't you now this is going to be the last time hopefully yeah yeah now, yeah yeah all yeah. that one big sheet is loose loose now yeah so what do you do then just chop it up in a bit like sort of, sometimes sometimes you can move it not I'm gonna get halfway back. Yeah. You wanna just drop one right in the middle there, don't you? Yeah, smash it. That top end's done look. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice, lovely. So now I like that. I'm gonna try and get it to land in that pole and clear it all out. I love it. Well done mate, good breaking. 
see that, so you've got a big chunk here, big chunk there and a few smaller bits. So just shove all them underneath now. Get them landing in that pole. You're gonna slide them underneath. Slide underneath. So we've got a big channel. We need to clear the ice now, Matthew. A bit of a disclaimer, I mm. am very confident in using my pole to do this. Yes. I know what it can can and can't do. I always use my stronger 700 um pole when i'm ever doing any ice clearing stuff even if yeah. i fish with my 900 i always just use the 700 just for a piece of mine yeah make sure all your joints are well on yeah don't yes. be too aggressive with it just take your time got your pole on the on. end yeah you can see that and all i'm doing is i'm going to pull the loose bits of ice towards me yeah now well, the, it's the only way to get them though isn't the it? only way to get them just take your time is the key now yeah the other key is to keep a nice bend in your pole so your sections don't come off. Yes, if you mm. just straight pole it, straight pole, your sections will come apart. But I just get them. I literally just not putting any pressure on the no, pole no, no. at all. I can see it. Right, and I'm just pulling the ice into a range where you can clear it with yeah. your net. And you can see why trying to break it into as few bits as possible works because you can ship out, you can pull it in, yes, yes. and then you can just slide all this under. So I'm gonna put this out of the way. Okay. We don't want to get that broke, and then I'm going to use my landing net pole here. Yeah. yeah. Again, don't be silly with your gear. No, no. Take your time now. Oh, yeah, yeah just shove all the pieces either on top or underneath. Yeah, slide them on top. Slide on, brother. If you've got someone next peg who you really don't like, yeah, slide them all try under. Try and slide them all as far towards them as you can. Tom Norton slid all his under. I just realised. Terrible, isn't it? I love it. So there you can... All of a sudden, you've got a little channel and it's not taking you that long, has it, realistically? No. What, what? five, ten, min ten minutes max? Especially when you're up here, we're at Messingham today, near Scunthorpe. Yeah. One thing you do need to be careful of is, there has been some polar bear attacks. I've heard so, like, yeah. You'd be studying, you're clearing the eye. Anglers have been yeah. known to disappear under the eye. Disappear. Lee Kerry got bit by a penguin last week. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Bit his ears. Yeah. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, I'm out of breath from breaking Frankie's peg of ice. <laughs> Probably the best icebreaker I know, but I'm not going to tell him that. That's ridiculous. That would have taken me about four hours. This is the kind of service you get at Messingham, look folks. We get cakes Brilliant. delivered by, so look at them. Wow. Have you made them and put them in a Greg's box? Absolutely. That's service, isn't it? Unbelievable. Hey. Thank you, Sofa. Tank, which one do you want? Look at that here, Tank. Don't think you need any of these. Cool. You alright? Yeah, good, thanks to you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Look at them. I'm having him. I like that one. You need a shower after you've had that, though, don't you? Mm. Ice fishing dinners, what are we going to feed? I'm going to feed, mate, some dark coloured sweet fish meal ground bait and I'm going to give it a little extra boost. I'm going to put two pints of sweet... What shall I do? Do you want me to do yours as well? Do mine as well. Right. Two pints of sweet... Three pints between us, do you reckon? It's be loads. I'm going to feed like nothing. Well, I'm actually going to feed something because nothing would be nothing. Three what? pints... Two pints of sweet marine. Yeah. Now that is... It's not super strong. But there's an odd big particle in it. There is. There's quite a lot of crushed pellets in it, and there's some big bits of emp in it. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I'm going to put a pint of method in, which I know it's a method mix. It's strong, isn't it? Sniff that. We well, are a big hooter. Oh, I nearly sucked the bag up. It's quite strong. Now, you need to be careful. very strong. When it's cold, you need to be careful with using really strong smelling fishy ground baits. Why? Because it's high protein and meaty and fishy. Yeah. It's difficult for fish to di digest that kind of um, stuff in cold water. Yeah. But it's also important to have your ground bait smelling strong. Okay. So, don't matter, there's so many different ground baits out there. You've got to use what you're confident in. Yeah. But a nice mix of like a dark, sweet fish meal with a little bit, like one third, like we have today, of something stronger. You get a lovely balance. Would you never use like a cereal in it? Uh, not on commercials like we are today, mate. Purely because, even in the winter, I'd say 85, 90% of anglers that come here just fish with pellets. Pellets, yeah. And they break down on the bottom and they get a fish meal powder-based sort of thing. And all the fish, roach, skimmers, 
just love fish meal. It's what they see all year round. It, it is, but what is important, that's mm -hmm. got a lot of food content in, which in the summer's brilliant, but when you're breaking ice and it's freezing, you want all that smell and attraction, but you don't want the feed in it because you'll just fill the fish up. Okay, too much bait for them. So, what's this in the pink? It's a riddle. joker riddle. It doesn't take everything out, it just takes, so I give it a few rubs, and then them bigger bits you get left on top. Yeah. See these like chunks of pellets and hemp and I get you. what have you. I just throw them few away. Feed them to the birds. Feed them to the birds, brother. I just put it through. I don't like having them. See yeah, them all, yeah, them yeah, big yeah. shelly bits. Odd big bit of pellet in there. Yeah, don't like having that in. No, I like it. Would you have a flower sieve it? No, because I think you take too much out. I just like okay. all them big bits. Ah, yeah, the yeah. bigger, bigger chunks. Like these look at him here. Yeah. He's a big old bit. Big pellet there, look. Mm. Yeah. Right. It just takes a little bit out, and that's it. Now, you're going to mix that up for us. Am I? Yeah, because I don't want to get my hands cold. Mm. I mean, I'll finish it. done all the hard work already. Good luck. Lovely. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Go so on. cold, mate. Kicking off. What are we doing, brother? Well, I don't expect to get bites straight away. You're not I going hope. to. Dinner yeah. bell were ringing. They might get bites straight away. Yeah. Go um, you're go not on. going to. It's going to take at least in my an hour. It's going Reckon. to take 30 minutes to an hour to, for the. I, I think you want to leave your peg a little bit. You don't want to too much disturbance. Mm, you don't I want agree. to be fishing it. You want to leave it. I always remember watching. I think it was a tight lines video of Will raising at Gold Valley, mm -hmm. where he broke the ice and then he went back to the cafe. Had like food, drinks. And that's exactly what we're going to do today, by the way. <laughs> we're going to feed some bait and then going to have some food and drinks. Yeah. But then he, he came back to his peg and caught loads of roach, skimmers. That's the same principle. You don't want to go straight in and catch the first fish that comes into your peg. Let them settle. Let them settle down. So how so, are we going to feed? What we got? Well, we've got a bit of ground bait, got some little micro pellets, uh, got casters, pinkies, maggots. Not a lot of bait this Not time a lot of, of bait. You don't need a lot. Most of that will still be on that tray when, <laughs> when I finish. It won't. it be in my van. So all I'm going to do to kick off the peg, I'm not going to feed a lot. I've just got some ground bait here. It's, it's sweet marine, a little bit of sieved off. It's all sieved off this, so it's got like hardly any particles in it. And that's the key. You've not put loads of particles in there, No, you? there's hardly all. There's an odd caster, an odd pinky, and a very odd micro pellet. You don't want a lot of bait. Right. I don't want to fill them up at all, because these are Baltic conditions. Baltic architecture. So I don't really want to put loads in. So all yep. I'm going to do, just kick it off. What do you reckon? One, a one-hander like that? Mate, you're the gaffer. You do what you think. So it's not, as you can see, it's not squeezed hard at all. It's quite loose, isn't loose. it? So I'll probably, I usually got that sometimes. Do you like finger, in, finger your ball? Just finger my ball. Finger the ball. All it is, is create a nice little area on the bottom. Go on then. Where the fishies can have a lovely time and eat my bait. One ball. One ball. This is all it takes. I've also noticed you've broke my ice a little bit closer than yours. No, is yours this is a further. Tactical decision for you? I've done you a better channel than me. It is a nice channel. So <coughs> exactly 13 metres. I've got a little marker here, look. That's where I'm going to feed my bait, and that's yep. where I'm going to fish. Let's have a look, where's your marker? Hello. Yeah, could use a little bit of pole tape, but this pole section's got a lovely marker there. Ooh, like it. So I'm going to go exactly in front of me, peg platform opposite. Take your time here. And, and in she goes. In she goes. Oh. On tap for good luck. Okay. And now it is coffee time. Seriously, we're going to have a coffee and a bit of a few yeah. snacks. I think half an hour, an hour, Matt. All right. I don't want to go in straight away. We'll go and see Kyle. Go see Kyle. Look at this. Absolute nutters. Oh, he's here, look. Yeah, he's got it. He's, he's having his got... coffee, he's fed his bait, and he's having his coffee. He knows his score. We are absolutely crackers. There's not a single other person on the complex today. I don't think there's a single other person fishing in the world. No, only Eskimos. Only Eskimos. Do we have an Eskimo kiss? Give the camera an Eskimo What's that? Is that what nose? Noses? Mm. Oh. I didn't have to reach too far for mine. What are you doing, Tank? What's happened here, Tank? Well, I didn't follow Matthew's advice. What's happened, pal? Careful with that pole. I can't believe he's iced over again. <laughs> his, his pegs refroze. Right. I told you to check all your sections were on properly. This is a good point for the guru pot, because it's not... We've got little slits in them. Yeah. It's not sinking. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get another pot and get 
Wait, <laughs> got it. Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing, eh? Tell what, brother. A tip to anyone fishing in these conditions: kind don't of, do it. <laughs> don't Always bring a hot, you a hot need, drink. You need a hot drink, don't you? Drink all the time. You really do. Right. What's with the gloves, Matthew? Because I'm freezing. I just broke my peg out again. My elastic's dangling out like. Elastic's freezing, it's cold. Yeah. Right. First go. First drop in. What's this, an hour after we've fed? Mm, about that. Yeah. I'd reckon an hour. Yeah, just what, over an hour. Look how much it's froze past my halter. Right, I'm going to get one. I think you are. Right, let's have bets. Who says I'm going to get one? I think you can get one. Kyle? Yeah, you'll get one. First Ma chuck. Really important to dot your flow. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon a duck was going to come up and sit on it. Surely. Come on. Oh, you had, you had an indication, Matt. Did I act? Did I? No. I feel like it's going to go. I think we're going to get a perch first. A few big perch in here, Kyle. Yeah, there's some good ones, yeah. I think if you catch a fish, it's possibly going to be a roach. Do you reckon? A roach. Yeah. Try and get that side of your float. I'm very surprised if it would be a skimmer. I'm not sure it would be a roach. To be honest, I'm... Oh! Did that move? There's something hap something's happening to that. There's oh. a fish there. I there swear is. to God, that moved. There is. It moved There's that. a fish there. You're going to get one. I'm going to get one. My hands are so cold I holding this right. phone. Mine all right, I've got mine on a cup of tea. That Is moved, it? didn't it? Yeah, definitely there must have been a fish in your peg. I reckon a little lift and, a little lift lift and, drop. and drop. Come on, let's have one, but lads, and lasses. Mate, that was... Oh. Yeah! Yes! No! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Come on. <laughs> Matt! <laughs> Lads, I'm sorry. That were a fish, wasn't it? Yeah. That's because my elastic's froze, isn't it? <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. That might be the only bite you get. No, you're going to catch now. That's a good sign, Kyle, isn't it? Unbelievable. That's Absolutely good, unbelievable. It's a good sign. I can't believe it come on. <laughs> froze together. <laughs> and you tangled your ring. Right. I'm going to have to stop because my fingers are going to drop off. Oh. Right. Maggot's double lava hook. Oh, Maggot's oh. double lava hook. It looked a decent fish. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <sighs> Round two. <laughs> I reckon that were a perch you lost, wouldn't you? We'll never know, will we? Well. Isn't it crazy to think we will never ever. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'd have struck at that. Oh. My fish! Yay! Yay! Brilliant. What is don't it? Don't come off, is don't it? come off, don't come off. Perch. It is, is a perch. Is it Tommy though? Is it perch? Oh no! Oh no! Don't lose it! Yay! Yay. We've avoided the blank. Wow. <laughs> Do you reckon that was the same fish? But it's got big eyes, hasn't it? Big eyes, isn't it, bro? Big eyes, bro. Oh, we've not we've not blanked. Well done. Oh. Lovely ice perch. Ice ice baby. Gotta be somewhat bigger than that. Yeah. That first one looked bigger, didn't it? it? Yeah. Not to dwell on it, but you know, the one that came off. Well at least we haven't um been a failure. Well technically we still could could be failures. Yeah. We've got a fish yet, haven't we? Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm I love that fish like that is a fight. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, literally it, a battle to the death, isn't it? It's pulled your elastic so far. So far, the power. Right, so we'll have a little, um, I don't know, 30 seconds watching Matthew. Again, great feeling. Somewhere in the area. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's solid. Oh, it's solid. Look at that. Oh, oh it's absolutely solid. rigid. Uh, another pair. Another pair. Are you getting bigger, brothers? There they are. Getting bigger. These gloves are really good for perch. Stop you getting spiked. You're building a weight now, kid. Oh, mate. Cooking on gas. Go and get a crane to lift this net out. And... What are you fishing with? Single maggot? Don't tell Sh anyone. Don't Sh tell anyone. Listen, do not tell Sh anyone. You'll keep for the little end. And red maggot. Yeah, red maggot. Sorry, nobody knows about that. Oh, uh, nobody. Getting bigger. 
Get him bigger. Look at him. He's, He's a got team. a belly on him, hasn't he? Got a belly like Tom Scholar. Look at him. Ooh. Ice perch. Hello. I'm cold. <laughs> Get me back in the water. That baby. Come on, the perch through, through the ice. Through the ice. And the peg's still freezing it up. It's literally freezing up. Let me get a photo. All right, I'm not get a photo of that one. Never mind. So, like I said, we've got Messingham's venue expert. He's actually winning the Winter League so far here. Kyle Hartley, great little angler, works in Wickersley. Um, invited him along for the day, and he's going to give you. Well, you don't know yet. But I'm going to get off him three or four really good winter silvers tips for you. Because trust me, he's a little expert in that department. Can we have a few winter silvers tips from you? I know you do a lot of this sort of fishing and I've seen you do very well at it. So yeah. let's say, oh, cut the ice froze back up. Let's say three tips from you about catching fish, obviously here at Messingham, but um, other places, winter silvers, fire away. Winter silvers, probably the number one tip is yeah. all about feeding. Mm. So if it's not ground bait, like maggots, casters, you've got to be able to feed. What? Lots of fish in your peg. You've got to be able to drag fish in your peg. And how would you do that? Loose feed? Yeah, loose feed, maggots, casters. Nice, um, nice. Yes, got some lovely maggots here. Where are they from Wickersley? Yes, yeah, some owls. Big owls, maggots. Big owl looked, tailors, maggots. He's looked after them. Look at them. Absolute beauties. So, but yeah, feeding. It's not like when you go into a commercial and you're fishing with pellets and just putting a little bit of bait in and you're mm. waiting for an odd fish at a time. With silvers, you're trying to drag lots of fish in, mm. trying to get fish competing, trying to sort out different stamps of fish. Uh, I think that's massively, massively important. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, massively important, that is. There you go, tip number one, folks. Plenty of bait and don't be scared to loose feed. Get them in your peg. Tip number two. Tip number two is a very good one, and it's probably the most important one. Is probably your rig. Nice. You've got to be able to fish with the lightest rig you can possibly get away with to the conditions. And why is that, Kyle? Because you'll just get so many more bites. What, where they see it falling yeah, well, sort of thing? Yeah, a lot of time the fish will be off the bottom. Yeah. And obviously when you're loose feeding, the fish are coming in and out. And if you're a nice light rig, the fish will be able to watch your rig falling. Like it, so like it. you'll just it. get so many more bites with a lighter rig. Get a lot of your bites on the drop. Yeah, just just literally, just as it's just as it's getting to the bottom, you just get a little dink and, and they'll be on. It's like, like it. Really good fishing. Really nice. Good. Really good. That's two. Can we have a third one? Can I sneak a third one out You'll here? You'll get a third one. It's a very, very good one. And it's something that I do a lot. And it's fishing with worms. What, in winter? Yeah, in winter. Even if it's as cold and frozen? Cold. Yeah, even if it's as cold as this, worms. What you have to do is chop your worms really, really fine. Ooh. Yeah, really, really fine. And worms are deadly in the winter. And there you, you go. You always find with worms. If you put them in and you don't get any bites, they just don't want worms. But on other days, when you put worms in, it sometimes just completely changes your peg. Nice. I like that peg. one because a lot of people, when it's this cold, shy away from putting worms in. I will give you one more tip. Go on, one then. More tip, Go on then. And it is a good one. Now, when you go on commercials and you're fishing for like F1s and little carp and you're tapping little pellets in, mm -hmm. you're fishing with a short length of line and things like that, it's brilliant. But silverfish fishing, they tend to come in your peg then they go out your peg. So I tend to have a lot a lot longer line than you'll possibly see with a lot of other people. Nice. And when you when you ship out and you flip your rig past your pole and loose feed and then the fish come past your bait. Got you. Um, so you always fish with a longer line? A longer line so you can search around your peg because the fish don't always come in where you've put your bait. They back off and they stay behind your bait. Love that. So being able to flip your rig around your peg, you can keep fish coming for longer and I think that's massively, massively important. Slide on, brother. There you go. you got four tips, folks. Thank you, mate. Give us a slide. Slide on, brother. This is the Messingham venue um, owner, boss. He's decided to sit on my box and catch the biggest one so far. Typical. What is it? A what? Crucian! Tell you what, at least I'm not filming this abysmal. Abysmal? Abysmal. What is it? No! He's got a Crucian! Never! No! George, what did you do that for? <laughs> Look at the ice on him. Why do you have to sit down and catch one of them on my box? <laughs> what a venue. How, the, how good is it to catch them through the ice? Mega, isn't it? Let me get a photo of you, Ian. Give me a second. 
literally feels like I've got a samosa out of the freezer. I'm eating it out of the freezer. I need to warm up. Idiot. Absolute idiot. It's actually healthy. What is this? We've got a uh, icy. Wow. Dream. Look at the Look size that. of that. <laughs> that is absolutely mega. Oh, well done, mate. That is easy three pound, isn't it? That? Wow. Look at the size of that. I almost don't want to pick it up. <laughs> Isn't that cold? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is That's unbelievable. We, th we both thought it were a perk. We did, yeah. Look at that. So, single maggot. 18 F1 pellet. Just Nick, just there. That was never coming out. Say that goodbye way. to him. Come on. Come on. My hands are that cold. They're not working. Did it discard you? Or? Uh, I think it's just because my hands are so cold. So cold, yeah. Oh, come out. Come here. Yeah, we both thought that mate, was going to be a perch, didn't we? Mate, my hands just don't work. <laughs> Look, they're not, they're not responding. I think that one's going to be have to be chopped off. But look at that, Kyle. Wow, that is absolutely mega. Lovely. Well done, mate. That's mega, that. Brilliant. Something a bit bigger, Matthew. I'm breaking the ice with my ball tip yeah. as I come in. Let's have a look. This is pretty extreme. Oh, he's under the ice. Oh. What is it? What do you reckon? <laughs> look at it. Look at the ice. Oh, he's a bream. Yeah, bream. Yeah. Nice. You can tell your elastic is like frozen as well. Ooh. Oh, he's a nice look one, isn't it? Look at that. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> ice. What? What a ridiculous venue. This is the coldest day of the year by a country yeah, mile. Is, yeah. And we're catching these through the eye. Look at that. What a fish. Worth getting up for, wasn't it? Beautiful. Oh. Well done. I'm going to dedicate this fish to Adam Chapman, one of the guys who I work with in the office. I know he loves cold conditions yeah. and i know it, he loves bream yeah even more if he were here today yeah he'd be wetting his pants honestly <laughs> that's what dreams are made of isn't it Hey, yeah. eh? beautiful mate can i have a photo with him no nope. please no nope. please yeah he will come now so this is the, this is the problem we're having folks Listen every to every time you catch one it freezes back up you can't leave it for more Ow. than 10 seconds Look at the dirt of it. Look at, look look at, at your elastic. I know. Look at my pole, right? It's got frost. But look at that. Right, where are you? Ice. <laughs> yeah, it's mental. Well, yeah, like Kyle said on his tip, it's really important you've got a long piece of line between your pole floor and your tip. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm Is this, your, is this yeah. your take on Kyle's That's rig? Right. Look, it's really, really, like, stable. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we doing? Let's have a look at it dangling. <laughs> what? It's frozen, I can feel it. It's frozen Frost. solid, on it? There we go. Oh, oh no. All <laughs> oh, the problems we have, Mate, folks. I, what are we going to do? Flick tip, we're bringing it back. Oh, I'm just going to fish it like that. Reckon? Nah, skimmer I'm changing us. Some bigger fish are definitely starting to feed, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's amazing, isn't it? Even in ice, mm. they come in when it's cold, don't they? Later on in the day. It's, um, it's, it's, I know we complained about it being cold earlier, but I think this is the coldest. Oh, how amazing is this fish in there? Look at that. Is it a bream? Yeah, a bream. Oh. Is it? Or is yeah. it a No, no, no. I think it's a bream. Oh, I don't know. It could be like an hybrid. What do you reckon? Look at that. No, I think it's a skimmer. Yeah, it's a skimmer, isn't it? It's a big Ooh. hybrid. Is it an hybrid? Yeah, it's a big hybrid, definitely. Kyle, is there some hybrids in here? Definitely an hybrid. Oh, that'll do. A big Irish hybrid, wouldn't it? Through the eye. Definitely an hybrid. That's why he's fighting a bit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Fighting to the death. Oh, and then, Bobby. Oh. Yeah, mate. I can't quite feel myself. No, it's weird, isn't it? Look at that. What? An fish hybrid. Tank. I know. Look at that. It's like being at Marbury Mere again, isn't it? Cracker. Look at him. What Beautiful a fish. How mint is that? That's awesome, yeah. What a cracker. 
Go on the Irish Eye Bridge. <laughs> Slide on with us. You look freezing. What are you doing there? I am being very daring, but mm -hmm. I've had that run about a fish and I'm sure it's dangerous. Let's have a look at it before you what you're doing. I am sure little nugget of eight yeah. will bring them back. And a lot of people are scared to feed when it's freezing like this, fishing through ice. Yeah. But I just feel like there's been an Eskimo. Oh, them. I feel like you're a bit of an Eskimo. Look at what. <laughs> this is like, listen, folks, watch Look it. at the frost on the it's, pole. Severe conditions. Oh, this, I'm not kidding. Oh God. It is. This is the coldest I've been in a long time. It's the coldest I've ever fished in. Yeah. Ah, it is. <laughs> but I reckon I'll get one if I top up. I reckon they've been in it all. Little nugget. Yeah. A bit of activity. I like it. You've got to sometimes. Um, look at that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's got to be minus what? Three or four? Yeah, it's got to be. Um, oh. But yeah, I like that. Nice little top up. Do you think that just brings them in, do you? I think, look at this. Look at that. Um, little tiny light rig, like Kyle said. I've got a point four slim. Lovely little floats for this yeah, time. Awesome. The, the nice thing is, really visible, but not too thick a tip and bulky. Yeah, and they're then... They're sensitive, aren't they? Yeah, little bulk. Now, look at him. Little bulk of number 10 there, look. And then 30, few, 13. number 13 micro cubes, so important, mate. What for? for? Drop, trimming your float down, two number 10 droppers. Um, okay. So important for trimming your float down. You need it dotted to a pimple yes. in these conditions. And then I've got an 010 up length. What's two, that fluoro count? Two 10 droppers, yeah. And then 010 pure fluoro and an 18 F1 pellet. Okay. I think fluorocarbon this time of year. Um, it's just, yeah, just think, it doesn't tangle, it's nice and stiff and I've never asked a fish but apparently they can't see it underwater. Invisible. Invisible. Let's go out and get one. Single. Single maggot. maggot. Up through the thin end, loads of hook points showing. Yeah. Very important. Maximise your chances Good of hooking them. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What is that? <laughs> What is it? I don't know. It, is it a bream? Is it an ivory? Is it a bream? Big bream. Look at that through the ice. Ice, ice, ice baby. Tall. Oh, he's a bigger name. Is he fouled? I don't think so. He's wrapped round. Go on. Oh, don't lose him. Don't lose him. Go on then. Oh, he's going to do a more, Brian. Yeah, he's got him. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Is he foul locked? He is, isn't he? He is not wing. That's why he bottomed me out, look. You've winged it, haven't you? Size of what it. a fish. Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh, look at look. that. Orange spot. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I've got these gloves on. Seriously, folks. It's proper kicked off this last hour when that light's gone. You want a photo with him, don't you, brother? He's a beauty, isn't he? Awesome. Well done, mate. It's crazy this fishing, isn't it? Crazy, what a venue. Thank you for bringing us, mate. Yeah, thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it. Awesome. What a fish. Don't know what this one is, dang. I break the eye with my pole tip as we come in. I really want a crucian. And this is fighting like one. You saying, George? Crucian, yes. Come on. It's got to be, hasn't it? Little jaggedy jaggedy. I've never caught a cruising cart through the ice before. <laughs> it is <isn't> all. <laughs> Got a cruising tank. Yeah. Look at this. Come and have a look at that. How cool is that? This is ridiculous, this place, isn't it? <laughs> cruising through the ice, folks. Get yourself to missing them. What's happening here, then? Well, I'm going to introduce a few maggots to my swim and i'm going to do that there's a couple of different ways like kyle mentioned you can lose feed yeah but if your casters aren't frozen exactly <laughs> right but i'm going to put a little um toss spot on Whee! nice Ooh. all i've done there is it comes this little sprinkle lid there yeah and the, um this is the smallest one that we do i've just cut it open with a pair of scissors i prefer it when you're feeding a few maggots literally like that's i don't want to over feed my peg at all right there's a couple of different ways. You can have a top up with a little tiny ball of ground bit, which has worked. 
or you can put like four or five maggots in like that just to keep it ticking over yeah, keep it ticking over literally look at how many maggots are in there not hard, hardly anything why why would you need to feed a few like that just because i think i want something falling through the water because they're not that the fish aren't like grubbing all on the bottom that they're always they're usually sat like half depth or mm. off the bottom and i want a few a bit of bait falling down so it catches their eye then they go down to where i've fed the ground go on then get them in let's see if you get one nice little tip lovely little tip that Give i tell you what a... i like about that i'm not very good at firing maggots you know if i'm pinging like four or well, five it's well hard to ping four or five especially when you you, you literally trying to get it in like a foot little <laughs> yeah way because of the eyes but this is the hardest bit trying to dodge the eyes yes and um but yeah i just think you can be nice and accurate and it just means you've got a few maggots falling in and around where your bait is yes like if you look at this i'm gonna god mate you hear your pole creaking pot, it's all the ice isn't it it's all ice so i'm gonna drop it. me little me bulk in there like that drop me foot i'm gonna turn my pot upside down give it a little rattle and a few will fall out hello mr paul you've been a good there boy today tap 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 looks tap, like tap, you're tap, smoking tap, 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 tap. there we go Right, that's like literally oh, them maggots, what, four or five? Right next to me up there. Oh, oh then, go on then. And go on then. Perch? This time it's a little chunk, Come on, let's have it a roach. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was a roach, wouldn't it? No, it's a perch. Look at the state of the eye. Good for breaking your channel out again, though, aren't they, them? Nice little perch. We'll try and get a bigger one. Go on then. I went to the doctor's the other day. Yeah. It's just we had a few problems. He says, do you smoke after sex? Right. He says, I don't know, I've never looked. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice, is that sun tank. I feel like I'm in Barbados. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, folks. I know it's hard work and it's a bit nippy, but it's beautiful and fresh to be out on a day like this. Oh, look at that. Well, gang, it's Arctic now, absolutely freezing. Do not let that fool you. It is freezing. Literally everything is freezing, freezing, freezing. Ginners, I think this is going to have to be the last fish because I can't hold this phone much longer. <laughs> this is ridiculously cold. Oh, boys, I'm freezing. Oh. So that's got a fishy on. What are we saying? Who's in here next one? I've got Kyle on netting. Kyle's on. Kyle. Play me an old. Clear. Play me an old. What is it? What is it? Yeah, crewy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, super Yay! scoop. Fair way. Oh, man. Oh. oh! Anyone want to touch this freezing cold fish? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Where's he up, Tim? What is there? Look. Wow! Look at that. Are we ending on him? He's but a perfect. We've got to end He's on him. Perfect because... little crucian, isn't he? Stunning fish. I'll tell you what, they don't move much when they come out <laughs> in this cold, do they? A bit like us. <laughs> Beautiful, lovely day, boys. Thank you very much for uh, bringing us here, Kyle. Brilliant. No don't forget, folks, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. You'll get some notifications whenever we do the next vlog. Lovely. Look at that, what? Absolutely unbelievable. Well, rather Kyle than us, mate. I know. <laughs> I weren't getting in there to put them back. Look what at a that. fish. Look, look at them. Bream. Bream. Massive red bream. Have, have a look at them hybrids. Look at them hybrids. Wow. Right, mega sub zero fishing, and look at all these crucians. crucians. Did we that get a roach? Do you know that we had a roach? Did we? I never no, caught a roach. No, no, none of us caught a roach. Look at that hybrid. Quite oh, a lot of perch. Oh, perch of the perch. Some but stunning we fish. At the start. Good breed. Show orange one. Oh, That's yeah. the good yeah. orange. Spot. Good the orange. Good orange. There's not many places day. in country you could go and catch a net of fish like that in these conditions, no. is there? Look at that, what? Literally everything Silver bream. freezing Silver over. Bream. Wow, Pommy. yeah, yeah. Bream. Got big eyes on them, mega fish them. Pommy, brilliant. Absolutely We've mega. had a few fish today, haven't we, like species? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Awesome fishing. 
Simply lovely. Beautiful. Oh, mega. And everyone's a swimmer. Brilliant. Merry so, Christmas, gang. Merry Christmas. Thank you for today, Kyle. No, yeah. Stick it there, brother. I'm going to man up and get a wet hand. <laughs> so cold what do you do hold your hands on him hold your hands on it for so long and then your hands will just freeze to the pole and then you have to go home holding the pole <sighs> oh he came apart and you do has he Look got it it's just frozen it's <laughs> <God, this is laughs> so cold it's ridiculous <laughs> what is going on oh my god is, is that... this the end of the year i think this is, is it boys at least we've had a day's fishing <laughs> oh he's done them all look at this this is how cold it is look at the frost and all <laughs> All of this. Is it clear for us?